Alright guys, Kibo here. I'm just doing uh, another book review today. This one is on The Devil on the Doorstep uh, by Annabelle Forrest. It might escape from a satanic sex cult. Um, sorry to be smiling, but it's, it is... That is what draws you. Oh, I, I bought this book. It, it's 2014, so it only came out last year. Um, I bought this book surprisingly from a, a charity shop. It was only 50 cents or a dollar. Um, I felt a little bit embarrassed going up to the up to the old lady at the counter and being like, "I want this. I want this uh, satanic sex cult book." Um, so yeah, it, if you have a little bit of a, a perverted interest, I, I guess there's nothing wrong with that because it's it's what sells the book. Um, my my escape from a satanic sex cult, this, yeah, it, it automatically grabs grabs your interest, and there's nothing really wrong with with that, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's even the blurb is is very very fascinating. I'll get into a little bit more, but um, oh, firstly, I want to just talk about the actual style of the book. Like it, the the problem with these books is that it, this is this is how I've only read it. It was brand new before this, but this is how the book ends up. Um, coming out, so it's, I'm not blaming at all the author here, I'm just bl blaming the publisher, uh, because it, it, this is this is after one read, it, um, the, the book becomes like this, and it's very creased uh, along the cover, I'm not sure how, but it, well, why it does this, but um, it, yeah, it's it's a good sized book, once again, it's, it's not, it's not going on, like for example, I'll just grab a random book here. This is this is Guantanamo, uh, David Hicks. It's it's massive, you know. Like it'll take you all year to read that. I read this book in literally two days. Uh, my internet has been off for a couple of days, uh, and I needed something to do to, to to pass the time. And I read this within within two days. Um, so it was very captivating. Yeah. So anyway, I just want to mention that. When when somebody is writing a book, it helps to keep it under two centimeters. So this this is an Australia Post letter gauge, and <laughs> see it goes it goes through. Ju it only just goes through, but it, it it only just goes through, but it goes through, and um that that means the book say would be sent for about two dollars. Uh, otherwise, it costs about nine. If it's that if it was a few millimeters bigger, it would cost about nine dollars to send, and um that. That probably would stop the book being being distributed as much. Uh, it, it's it's probably within the author's interest that they keep it under that two centimeters so it can be distributed by, uh, via post. Um, so yeah, I thought that's I'll just mention that because it is it is a fairly recent novel and it's a good it's a good size novel. The the writing the writing is a good size. Um, so it's. It's it's not overly over the top. Um, so yeah, the, the devil on the doorstep. Whew. It is a, it is a heavy book. I, th I think that's why it's such a, a page turner. <laughs> it's it's very heavy. Um, the Annabelle Forest. I, I won't go into all all the details, but from an early age, she's inducted into a cult. Um, it's it's not really a satanic sex, uh, satanic cult, it is a sex cult, but it's not, not satanic as, su as such, it's, um, but it, it is a cult, they believe in very strange doctrines, the, they, they, the book, they, rather than the Bible or the Quran, they, they base their lives around a book called, uh, it's Alistair Crowley's The Book of the Law, which is, uh, I haven't, I haven't looked into that, but it sounds like it is a fairly uh, perverted book. Like it really does teach people to to do what they want, really. To um, so yeah, it it gave a lot of justification for him to do what he wanted. Oh, for so basically, for some when when she when she joined this cult, it was from the age seven. So from from that age, the the cult leader was um, 
he was obviously uh, manipulating all these people for, for sex, for, for um, money, for basic, for taking their benefits. Um, but it's, it's very, very strange to, to say that um, when, when she gets older, it, her own mother it seems to really be the, one of the devil's advocates in the stories because her own mother pushes her into, into these uh, sex situations and starts trying to have uh, group sex with her, her own daughter uh, just, just to uh, appease the leader, I guess, um, who is, who is Com Colin Bately. Yes, uh, remember that name. I think he's quite a hated figure now <laughs> amongst um, amongst uh, a lot of people that follow the case in the UK. The uh, it's it's a very difficult story. Like it's not it's not a story that will leave you really gutted or re leave you uh, depressed or anxi anxious. It actually made me feel like having a little a, a tear uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> it almost gave me a tear in my eye at the end of the book, like, oh, that, that's a really sad story, what's happened to this girl, um, and how, how people, older people, really able to abuse her and just use her, use her like, like a sex, a sex doll, just to, from, from the moment she was, became old enough, which was at, at 11 years of age, they started, really started abusing her, and, and it, it gets really sad how, how, the, the leader impregnates uh, impregnates her, um, Colin impregnates Anna, and she's she's left with, uh, as well, he's, he's impregnated her mum, so she's living in a situation where her mum is, imp is uh, had a baby, and then she has, has to have a baby, and she's she tells everybody that uh, the baby's, uh, this, this boyfriend who she's been um, set up with the, by the church, who she's been forced to have, uh, to, be in a relationship with, and it, it's this ruse is, I guess, it's um, that's what's really destroyed her. Now I really feel feel for her that she had to had to tell people that that it was her boyfriend when it really was the the guy who who had been raping her all those years, um, and it's very very manipulative the way Colin Colin describes it, and that's that's one good thing the book does get into. It really does describe. Uh, I guess the emotions, where, where, whereas in a lot of books I, I would be very critical of the author for um, a lot of books that, that seem to be writ written entirely about a person's experience, like they joined the French Foreign Legion or they joined, uh, I don't know, the Taliban or like in that uh, Guantanamo book. Um, they're not necessarily a good, good read, they're not necessarily uh, written well, they're just it's kind of them selling out on their story. Um, this this is a, a really good read for, for an autobiography, and it's actually one of one of the few times where her her, her memories of the of the events actually um, I guess portray the story a lot better rather than than detract from the story at all. At all. Um, so yeah, it is it is a really really page turner but once again it is some heavy material um it is it is about uh, it's about a lot to do with pedophilia it's a lot to do with abuse and abuse within a family um but the book sh can show how how easily somebody can really be pulled in into those things and i think some people would might criticize it because they might say oh she was very naive or but you know she, it, it, it it had been her life since she was um, since she was 11 years old. I, I, she really described it well. How she, this this Colin figure was the centre of her life. She couldn't make decisions. She couldn't. She believed she couldn't make it out there in the real real world on her own. So the the book takes a very depressing turn. I guess it is when she um, when the, the the cult, the church, the church starts up. Uh, starts forcing her into into prostitution and um, that happens about halfway through through the book and it's a little bit of an unexpected turn because you're like in the book you're like how can this get any worse and it really does get worse like she so she is forced into prostitution and it seems very naive the way she, she sees it um, 
well, not naive, but the way it, it's very innocent the way she she's been put into into the prostitution. Um, so yeah, it really does become a sad. Uh, the way sex is abused in her life is is a, is a really sad sad case, and uh, same with the prostitution that's happening. Um, yeah, it's it, it really like is it's almost a tearjerker because it's. It's not something anybody should ever have to go through, and um, all her, her, like, all her prostitution money was obviously given to given to the leader. So she was essentially working as just an absolute slave for this for this for this guy. And as well with her mum, her mum was doing the same thing, and her mum really was the one who who pushed her into all these situations. So um, it, it's. It, for somebody, if somebody's been abused, it, it's a, even a little bit harder to read because um, you, you recognise the hallmarks of, of abuse. You can see that uh, how, how somebody that should should be loving you has really um, overstepped the boundaries and, and has moved into a, a, abuse. And I can under, I can understand where where she comes from with that. Um, so yeah, that that is the devil on the doorstep. Um, it, it turns out well for her. She ends up. Uh, it's not really a spoiler because it says it on the back that uh, today Annabelle Annabelle a Annabelle lives ha a happy and settled life with her partner and two children. Her story proves how her strength and courage helped her to heal and find justice. And um, it, you know, this is. This is, it, like, in 2011, her evidence helped convict 48-year-old 40, Bailey for life. So, so she really had to turn, um, she, she really had to give a lot of statements to the police about her accounts, about her, about this trauma in, in her life being brought up. Um, so, yeah, it, it isn't necessarily a happily lives, live, uh, they all live happily and uh, after it in in the end, but it is a uh, it it does give it does give a lot of courage. It does give a lot of hope that that you can rise above these situations. That um that yeah, it's that she she did the right thing. That she ended up putting away uh, people she she loved in her family. Um and that that would have been a very very hard thing to do. Uh, so yeah, I'd I'd highly recommend it. Just just go for it. If it if you can read through a few chapters and you're interested, it it, it seems to flow from there. Uh, on on the actual author, I do highly commend her for, for writing such a difficult book. It it seems uh, oh, it seems that she, it was more of a testimony to her experience, and it was almost a way of uh, explaining the story to her kid, because her, her kid, she, she said one day her kid is going to have to learn the truth of, of that, that I guess she was a, her kid is a child of rape, um, but she still loves her, she still love, loves this kid, so it's, um, it's, it's a tough book, like I, I feel, I feel sorry for her situation where, where she, she yeah, it's, it's a very tough situation. <laughs> Um, so it is almost like a testimony. It's almost like she ha had had to write the book for for her family, for those who have abused her, for for those who have questioned her, for the for and for finally a, a child that she's all going to have to explain one day. So it feels like a very necessary book. Um, it didn't at all feel like she was cashing in on the situation. It felt like she was more having to to give her side of the story, to give her testimony. Um, it, it, yeah, it's it's very scary what what people are capable of. Um, so yeah, even in the end, in the end, it gives a it gives information and support, like you know, uh, like a sort of not a suicide hotline, but it gives a cult cult information center, um, national association for people abused in child childhood, you know, child child protection lines. That sort of thing, just just in case it, it does tr trigger something that you just that you go okay maybe I'm a maybe that's something <laughs> I, I know of or I know somebody that's getting abused. So 
Um, or maybe you've been abused yourself in your life through, through in childhood. Um, so it's a very it's a very tough tough book to 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 deal with. Like it's a, it is the tough subject content, but I guess that's what um, keep, keeps us interested. Uh, it certainly kept me interested. She she didn't she did go over the points of the book that really really um, seemed important, like really seemed like she'd go over the doctrines, she'd go over the, I guess the key, the key points that had happened. I imagine there's so much more that she left out. She could have written probably a book like that, but it's, um, she really did summarize it and turn it into an e easy to read book, which isn't, which isn't over the top at all. Um, I, I'd like to see her read it, write another book, maybe if it isn't about a her autobiography. It's um, it's a it's it's a very well written book. So uh, what would I give it? I'll give it uh, I'll give it four and a half stars. Maybe no, I'll give it five stars. Um, I, I don't know why I'd give it four and a half stars. It's just, whew. I'd give it five stars. Seriously, it, it it is a really good book. It's it's worth your money. It's um for a recent 2014 book. It, it's probably one of the the better read, most more recent books I've read in in the year. So yeah, definitely try and order it online. Try and uh, try and try and read it. And it is about a recent true crime case. So um, yeah, is there anything else? Once again, I can say on this book. Uh, Oh, this, you're going to learn to hate this Colin Bately guy. He, yeah, you're really going to learn to hate him. Um, it's not so much of a sexy book. Uh, like, it's a bizarre book because... Oh, my last thing I'll say is that it is a bizarre book. That, um, in some ways, you do actually feel a little bit... A little bit jealous of her life because she is... Um, like, like she, she doesn't gloss over the, the, the positive aspects of being in a cult. She has, she had a lot of friends. Well, not a lot of friends, but she had friends within the cult. She, she went out on outings. She seemed to have a lot of, a lot of good times and a lot of, uh, positive things still to say about the cult, like, and about, um, the people's roles, I guess, in the cult. But. Uh, it, it, the way she and the way she get attention, it is a little bit something that we um, crave for, I guess, in ourselves. I don't want to say I was jealous of, of her, but some some aspects it seems like almost like wow, you know that um, when it, it really like you know the love love bombarding the, the it really it really seems like a um, I, I don't know how to put it, but it. it I can see what the attraction is, is to cults and to that sort of uh, behaviour, I guess, and yeah, it's, I'm not saying I'm, I was at all jealous of her childhood, or, but just those positive aspects of, yeah, I could, I could see myself being a little bit jealous of, but um, it quickly, it quickly wore off, it really did quickly wear off, it's not something, it's not something you really want to go through. Um, a church environment, a church, it's, it's a very, yeah, so, uh, that's, that's, that is Annabelle Forrest's The Devil on the Doorstep. Thanks guys for watching, have a good one. I want to just talk about the actual style of the book, like, it, the, the problem with these books is that it, this is this is how I've only read it. It was brand new before this, but this is how the book ends up um, coming out. So it's, I'm not blaming at all the author here. I'm just bl blaming the publisher uh, because it, it, this is this is after one read. It, um, the, the book becomes like this, and it's very creased uh, along the cover. I'm not sure how, but it, why it does this, but um, it. Yeah, it's it's a good size book. Once again, it's it's not it's not going on like for example, I'll just grab a random book here. This is this is Guantanamo, uh, David Hicks. It's it's massive, you know. Like it'll take you all year to read that. 
I read this book in literally two days. Uh, my internet has been off for a couple of days, uh, and I needed something to do to, to, to pass the time. And I read this within within two days. Um, so it was very captivating. Yeah. So anyway, I just want to mention that when when somebody is writing a book, it helps to keep it under two centimeters. So this this is an Australia Post letter gauge, and <laughs> see it goes. It goes through. Ju it only just goes through, but it, it it only just goes through, but it goes through, and um, that that means the book say would be sent for about two dollars. Uh, otherwise, it costs about. No if you are depressed or anxi anxious, it actually made me feel like having a little a, a tear. A, like <laughs> it almost gave me a tear in my eye at the end of the book. Like. Oh, that, that's a really sad story, what's happened to this girl, um, and how, how people, older people, are really able to abuse her, and just use her, use her like, like a sex, a sex doll, just to, from, from the moment she was, became old enough, which was at, at 11 years of age, they started, really started abusing her, and, and it gets really sad how, how the, the leader impregnates, impregnates her, um, Colin impregnates Anna, and she's she's left with uh, as well. He's he's impregnated her mum, so she's living in a situation where her mum is in, is uh, had a baby, and then she has has to have a baby, and she's she tells everybody that uh, the baby's uh, this this boyfriend who she's been um, set up with the, by the church, who she's been forced to have to be in a relationship with, and it, it's this ruse is I guess it's um that's what's really destroyed her and I really feel feel for her that she had to had to tell people that, that it was her boyfriend when it really was the the guy who who had been raping her all those years. Um and it's very very manipulative the way Colin guys, Kibo here. I'm just doing uh, another book review today. This one is on The Devil on the Doorstep uh, by Annabelle Forrest. It might escape from a satanic sex cult. Um, sorry to be smiling, but it's, it is, that is what draws you. Oh, I, I bought this book. It, it's 2014, so it only came out last year. Um, I bought this book Surprisingly, from a, a charity shop, it was only fifty cents or a dollar. Um, I felt a little bit embarrassed going up to the up to the old lady at the counter and being like, "I want this. I want this uh, satanic sex cult book." Um, so yeah, it, if you have a little bit of a, a perverted interest, I, I guess there's nothing wrong with that because it's it's what sells the book. Um, my my escape from a satanic sex cult is, yeah, it, it automatically grabs grabs your interest, and there's nothing really wrong with with that, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's even the blurb is is very very fascinating. I'll get into a little bit more, but um, oh, first is uh, I haven't I haven't looked into that, but it sounds like it is a fairly uh, perverted book like it really does teach people to, to do what they want really to um, so yeah it, it gave a lot of justification for him to do what he wanted oh, for, so basically for some when, when she when she joined this cult it was from the age seven so from from that age the the cult leader was um, he was obviously uh, manipulating all these people for for sex, for for um, money, for basic for taking their benefits. Um, but it's it's very very strange to to say that um, when when she gets older, it, her own mother it seems to really be the one of the devil's advocates in the stories because her own mother pushes her into into these uh, sex situations and starts trying to have. Uh, group sex with her, her and daughter, uh, just just to uh, appease the leader, I guess. Um, who is who is Colin Bately? 
yes, uh, if you remember that name, I think he's quite a hated figure now <laughs> amongst, um, amongst uh, a lot of people that have followed the case in the UK. The, uh, it's, it's a very difficult story, like it's not, it's not a story that will leave you really gutted or re leave you behind. If, it's that, if it was a few millimetres bigger it would cost about nine dollars to send and um, that, that probably would stop the book being, being distributed as much. Uh, it, it's, it's probably within the author's interest that they keep it under that two centimetres so it can be distributed by, uh, via post. Um, so yeah, I thought that's. I'll just mention that because it is it is a fairly recent novel, and it's a good it's a good size novel. The the writing the writing's a good size, um, so it's 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 not overly over the top. Um, so yeah, the, the devil on the doorstep. Whew. It is a, it is a heavy book. I, th I think that's why it's such a, a page turner. <laughs> It's it's very heavy. Um, the Annabelle Forest. I, I won't go into all all the details, but from an early age, she's inducted into a cult. Um, it's it's not really a satanic sex uh, satanic cult. It is a sex cult, but it's not not satanic as, as such. It's um, but it it is a cult. They believe in very strange doctrines that. They, they, the book, they, rather than the Bible or the Quran, they, they base their lives around a book called, uh, it's Alistair Crowley's The Book of the Law, which